this charge is of such great gravity that it has been separated from the others. Dan Ramos is accused of misconduct related to statements that he made on or about March 11, 2011 to the San Antonio Current, and they are contrary to the beliefs and declarations of the Texas Democratic Party. I feel that I need to begin with an observation about speech. Um, it has been claimed by some that Dan Ramos has a right under the Constitution to free speech. This claim is absolutely correct. Dan Ramos has every right to express whatever belief or idea he chooses, regardless of how repugnant any of us may find it. The Constitution is quite clear. Dan Ramos, the man, enjoys this right and his speech should be beyond the reach of governmental interference. But that is not why we are here today. None of us are here to call on the government to abridge Dan Ramos' right to make statements that we may believe are bigoted, ignorant, or profane. Instead, we are here to consider the remarks of Dan Ramos as chairman of the Bear County Democratic Party. We are here to determine if these comments by Dan Ramos as chairman are inconsistent with the declarations and beliefs of our party. The Texas Democratic Party rules begin with our statement of principles. These are the things that are so important that they take up the first page of our rules, and they're separated into beliefs and declarations. Under the beliefs section, Article 1, Paragraph 1, that we must join together with a renewed faith in our country, in our state, and in our party to provide our people with responsive, responsible government. In that same subsection, Paragraph 5, that all citizens, no matter what their religion or race, or how humble or exalted their origin or station, have the duty to participate fully at every level of government and are entitled to an equal voice and to equal treatment at its hands. The Democratic Party also declares under Section B, Paragraph 2, that the Democratic Party at all levels shall support the broadest possible voter registration and participation without discrimination on the grounds of race, sex, age, color, creed, national origin, religion, ethnic identity, economic status, or disability. The Texas Democratic Party further declares in Section B, Paragraph 3, that it shall be the duty of the state chair and party officers at all levels to take affirmative steps to encourage young people, women and minorities, to seek selection as delegates to party conventions and as members of party committees so that they shall be represented in a reasonable relationship to their presence in the state. These statements of our principles are clear. The Democratic Party at its core is a party of inclusion. We are a party that sees our diversity not only as a defining characteristic, but as the source of our strength. It is the responsibility of every Democrat to encourage the broadest participation and to stand against intolerance and discrimination. What I'd like to do now is to play an excerpt from the interview in question that Greg Harmon of the San Antonio Current had with Dan Ramos. The Current previously released this recording on their website. No, this isn't, this isn't audio. Oh, this is this audio. Is. Okay.
these words, What's the do not encourage broad participation, but would serve to marginalize. These are expressions of the very intolerance and discrimination that all Democrats are called to stand against in our beliefs and declarations. This is not the language of inclusion that is founded, that is the foundation of our party. This is the language of exclusion, and all Americans know the language of exclusion. Many would believe that it is part of our ancient history, part of a cruel rite of passage that our ancestors endured. So when the language is used against groups of individuals today, it reminds us that exclusion with its attendant bigotry and racism still and sadly lurks in the American heart. But when it is one of our own democratic leaders that makes those utterances, it tears at the very fabric of who we are as Democrats. Dan Ramos has made such utterances and stands in gross conflict with the declarations and beliefs of our party. That brings our part of the specification to a close. Chairman Ramos has chosen not to be here today, but because of the seriousness of this particular charge, we feel it's very important that Chairman Ramos has an opportunity to provide a response. After this story broke in the current, Chairman Ramos called a press conference. And at that press conference, he spoke, or he made a response of his selection, of his choice as to how he viewed the comments that he made. And what we'd like to do now is to play his response, if we may.